Thank you for using Pritime Medical's simulated trainer for arterial access and Reboa, or as it's more commonly known, the STAR. This video will instruct you on how to set up the STAR. Unlock the case containing the STAR by turning the combination to 000 and then pressing the zipper release button in towards the combination dials. Remove the body model from the case. Inside the body cavity, you will find tubing used to connect the pump, sump, and body model. Remove the tablet, sump, pump, extension cords and GFCI power outlet, cables and power supply, and pressure infusion bag with bladder. Fill the sump with water to its fill line. Every time you fill the sump, add four drops of algicide solution to the water. Close and secure the sump lid. Place the sump on the floor. Stack the pump on top of the sump. Place the body model on the table above the pump. The system was designed so that the body model should be approximately 30 inches higher than the pump. If the pump and body model are at the same height, the preset pressures will not be accurate. Connect the tubing to the pump, sump, and body model. There are three tubes with red, green, and yellow labels. Connect the corresponding colors of plugs to their sockets, ensuring the metal plugs fit into metal sockets and plastic plugs fit into plastic sockets. Connect the blood pressure monitoring cable to the pump, ensuring the notch in the plug lines up with the notch in the socket. Plug a blood pressure monitoring transducer into the cable. Attach the blood pressure monitoring transducer extension line into the ERBOA catheter's art line. Plug the GFCI outlet protector into the wall outlet. Plug an extension cord into the GFCI outlet and then plug a power cord into the extension cord. Plug the USB cable into the back of the pump. Power on the tablet by holding the power button at the top right side of the tablet for approximately 3 seconds. Allow adequate time for the tablet to power on and then display the home screen. Then plug the USB cable into the tablet. Prepare a 7 French introducer sheath by inserting the dilator into the sheath, sliding the dilator introducer sheath combo over the guide wire and advance it until the sheath is flush with the body model surface. Remove the guide wire and dilator. Before turning on the pump, ensure that any leak points are closed off by checking the following. Ensure the thigh patch quick connections are plugged into the model in both the front and back. Ensure the introducer sheath's sidearm stopcock is closed. Ensure the art line stopcock is closed atmosphere. Plug the power supply into the pump. The green light on the outside of the pump will light up and the application on the tablet will automatically launch. Once all potential leak points have been checked, activate the pump by pressing the on-off button at the top right corner of the application window. Purge air from the tubing by lifting the model back and forth. This will give air within the tubing a path to escape. Connect the blood pressure monitoring transducer to the leg cap of the model. With the catheter still outside of the model, press the zero sensor button on the screen to calibrate the sensor's readings to atmosphere. To get a blood pressure monitor reading, prepare the Yarbo catheter per current setup procedures and insert it into the model. Use the two sliding bars on the screen labeled intensity and offset to adjust the waveform as needed. With your pressures adjusted to your needs, the STAR is ready for Reboa training. If you'd like to prepare the STAR for access training, perform the following in addition to setting up for Reboa training. Obtain a pressure infusion bag, bladder, and extension line. Fill the bladder approximately half full with colored or clear water, then reattach the extension line to the bladder. Open the clip. Purge as much air as you can from the bladder, and then close the clip. 
place the bladder in the infusion bag. Pump the inflation bulb to inflate the bag and then close the stopcock to hold air pressure. The pressure should be approximately 10 to 15 millimeters of mercury. Use your best judgment, but avoid overinflating the bag. Connect the bladder extension line to the vena cava in the body model. Open the clamp on the extension line. Open the thigh patch cover on the model to expose the back of the thigh patch. Carefully unscrew the cap at the end of the blue tubing in the back of the thigh patch. Bleed air out of the vena cava and then replace the cap. The star is now set up for arterial access training. If you have questions or you'd like to learn more about our products, contact us at 303-456-7620 or visit us at www.pritimemedical.com.